All right, one of the students sent me these questions. I guess it's a combination of questions. All right, this question uh, is state the heart stand for higher order thinking skill and basically means the uh, very hard questions. Determine the number of quadrilateral found in the above diagram if no condition is imposed. Okay, first thing is you have to understand what's the meaning of quadrilateral. So basically, it basically means a uh, um, uh, sort of rectangle but it's not rectangle means the shape is formed by uh, four random line it's like this so you can see this shape actually formed by four random lines so we call quadrilateral all right so um over here no condition is imposed so basically um it's quite simple so we know in order to form a quadrilateral right at least we need to have two line which is sort of a vertical one and then we need to have like two, another two line uh, which is horizontal one so basically mean for horizontal i need to have two line and then for vertical i also need to have the two line okay so it's quite simple we calculate how many line we have one for vertical one two three four five so from five of these lines, I'm going to randomly choose any of the two two lines here. So it's just five C two. Alright, then for horizontal, one, two, three, four. I need to choose any of the two lines, it's four C two. And then I will just multiply them. And then over here we just use the calculator to uh, check the answer out. So the answer should be 60. Okay quite straightforward this is how we form the quadrilateral if there's no condition all right i guess the heart or k bar is for the part b okay so the same the point p is one of the vertex uh of the quadrilateral vertex all right so basically means what mean p can be either one of the vertex here p can be either here or p can be either here or p can be either here or p can be either here so it'll be either one of the vertex here. So what we want to do now is, okay, depend how you want to see this question. Okay, first I will teach you a faster way, but the faster way, I'm not sure is it all the students can understand that. Okay, basically, if for the vertical line here, because P is located over here already, so I can form the quadrilateral means I have three choice here, a uh, four choice, one, because this line can form a quadrilateral here and here, isn't it? So one line, two line. This line definitely can make P at the vertex as well, right? Two line, three line. This one definitely. And four line. So basically, is uh, four, C, one. Basically, four of this line, I'm going to choose one. Because one of the line is basically is the line located, the P line, I call it P line. Right, so if you want to choose this line, of course, definitely you can do a 1C1. Basically, you only have one line with the P, you choose it, it's like, like time 1C1, so that you have two lines, but normally I don't write multiply 1C1. But if you want, yeah, you can just do 1C1. This one is for the line with P. Okay, then what I want to do is, for horizontal, I have the line with the P also, so you want to multiply 1C1 also can because this one also is a horizontal line with the P here. Right now I have how many choice? 1, 2, 3. So I have three more three more choice here. So it will be three, three line. I need to choose one more because one of the line must be the line with P. So I from this three line here, I will just choose uh, one more, which is 3C1. But normally, if I do myself, I will just ignore both of these. Basically, 4 times 3, the answer will be 12. Alright, some students uh, might not convince about this method. Then you can do manually if you want. Or you can just um, do side by side. Okay, so what I want to do is um, uh, I can just group them into the four area. Okay, you can see this area uh, number 1. Okay, because over here, you can see the vertex basically at my... Uh, left bottom okay or I can a second area which is here alright my second area which is uh, P at my right bottom 
or I can have the third area here which is P at my right top and then I can I might have the last corner here uh, which is P at the uh, left top okay so from here I want to see how many quadrilateral for the uh, section 1 here so let's say for the I call it uh, section 1 okay so obviously you can see this one maximum is only two quadrilateral uh, what you can do is um you can just calculate um one by one because two is quite simple or you just do something like um 2c1 and then multiply 1c1 basically you have two of it okay then for section two okay for section two over here if you want to calculate right yeah some students might might worry they actually will overlap or something like this so what I, I what i will suggest you to do is okay you can think like this because for the section two which is here isn't it so because you just imagine uh, you already have this line with the p and this line with the p here so you can think something like you have one two which is something like two line you choose one and then for vertical one you already have this line right one two three which is three line you're going to choose one okay because you already have this line and this line right so you have like vertical one two three you choose one of it you can choose middle one you form okay for horizontal you already have this line you choose one two so this is the region one is two c one okay then we for section three okay so you use the same logic you already have this line so maybe i can label it i mean i can draw for it. you already have both of the yellow color line so right now you this one is only one c1 for horizontal so one c1 you can just type one c1 if you want but for the vertical you have one two three which is three line you need to choose one okay then for the last one which is section four uh, which is the last part here and section four you see carefully there's only one collateral so you no need to worry just one then this one is basically 2 plus 6 plus 3 plus 1 which is 12 as well all right so i'm not sure which method you like or even you just like count one by one actually you can get an uh value 12 also but here just i show you the different way of solving this kind of questions yeah i will not say this question is a very hard but i think this kind of question is good for a student to think uh how to get the total possibility of forming the qualitative all right i hope you find this video helpful to you i will see you guys in the next video bye bye